this is Arnold and today I'm going to show you how to remove KG lock. So go ahead to emergency dial and dial star hash zero star hash. We need to enable ADB. Then afterwards you need to use a tool that supports enabling ADB from the general test mode. So you might get a reading fail but don't worry just click on OK. Then afterwards some initial methods may fail but enable adb done as you can see it has already enabled the adb and when you see this menu don't click allow you will click later not now so go ahead to the magic box called cmd and type the following command type adb shell then go to your mobile phone and click allow usb debugging then make sure you closed the FRP tool and make sure you screenshot the commands and hit enter. They are one line each ADB shell. Hit enter, then type PM disable user, finish the command, then hit enter. Then you are going to open this tool. Make sure you type in the password, the login. It comes with the password and it's free. First thing first we're going to do is disable KG lock. Click disable KG lock. Then on your mobile phone, you'll get a notification saying that your phone is locked because it was uninstalled without authorization. But don't worry. The common question I get asked is what should i do if star hash zero star hash is not working well all i need to do is enable adb just enable adb that's all we need to enable adb after enabling adb and tapping the command the phone can be unlocked without factory setting that's all i hope i have clarified on this one so go ahead and click on remove frp to jump start the phone from the test mode menu to the on screen to the home screen menu or almost to home of this home of the home of the apps where the phone displays the apps if the frp is removed successfully the phone will restart automatically and then you just have to wait or get entertained when a phone is unlocked it's not tied to a specific carrier. This means users can freely switch to different carrier if they find a better plan. It also tend to have a broader market appeal when you decide to upgrade or sell your device. And as I stated earlier, you don't need to factor reset your device in order to remove KG lock. All you need to do is Tap the build number seven times and enable ADB. And if you can't access the settings, that's why we need to use the test mode star hash zero star hash. That's all. I hope if you got confused on that part, I'm sorry. I hope I have clarified on this one. Don't lose your items if you can access the settings of your device. Just enable ADB, plug in the USB cable and type the command and the phone will be unlocked and make sure to remove the pattern passcode if your device has one until we finish the video till the end we are not yet finished so go ahead to this tool and we're going to select the disabled system applications we disabled earlier using the magic box the cmd do you remember when we typed adb shell then we disabled the system ui so come to this tool and you will find all the system applications installed on your device including the disabled ones so you will find all of them be careful when selecting on this part I will guide you on this. Let me walk you and guide you on this. So when you click on the disabled system applications, we find 
www.emergencylauncher.com.android.system.ui and the emergency launcher. When you select all of them, you will be able to perform certain actions. And those actions are either you uninstall them, you enable them, or you save them. But we need to uninstall them because we don't want our phones to be stuck on starting Android when we set a PIN, pattern, or password, or fingerprint, either, whenever, either, those three. That's why we need to completely uninstall them. And once you finish uninstalling them, that's how successfully you have removed KG lock so save this method for now this was also unlocked using the same same method and when you go to the settings and we type we tap on about then when you go to software information we'll get it's android 12 it's android 12 version android 12 google play system update is first july 2023 deeper or maybe let's say a little deeper on this phone so when i power the phone off and try to enter either a download mode or a recovery mode so i'll just either insert a usb-c cable and wait until it finishes to count it's only six percent then i'll press on the volume up button and the power button volume up and power button at the same time then when i see the logo i'll release the power button and continue pressing the volume up button and when you look on the recovery mode screen there's no wipe data factory reset option it's missing it's not available but what you need is a develop options just go to settings go to build number tap it seven times allow go then go to develop options and then find usb debugging and toggle that menu on and thereafter you can type the commands and hit enter after each command line and if you never understood or you never saw the commands i will display them on the end of the video so be careful when unlocking your phone when if you feel instructions are unclear, don't attempt to unlock your device. But if you understood, well, go ahead and unlock your device. There's no harm, there's no impact, there's no, there's no harm. It will work as expected. So please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching. And if you ever wanted to factor reset the device, this download mode option on some FW. And when you click on factor reset, the NNDRS 